Hey everyone, Rob J here, and welcome to the Nova, and welcome back to the exciting world of Breakfast the Game. Now, I recently played this game a long time ago, giving its first impressions, and the game was still in beta, so right now it's fully launched. If you don't know what Erectus the Game is, it's a massive multiplayer online game, real-time strategy, and it's free to play. Uh, the game was created by Mata or Meta Games, I'm always pronouncing that name wrong, but uh, let's check it out and um, see what it's like. Alright, so welcome to Erectus the Browser Gate, we wish you all good luck and have fun playing Erectus. Can regards, Team Erectus. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Start game world. Okay, I remember going through this before. Um, I don't think it really matters which side I start on unless there's a significant difference here. Um, I think I am going to... Yeah, exit that. I'm going to... Northeast, why not? Oh, and the cool clans. I think I'm gonna go with Nagain again, just because I think they look really cool. Um, so here they give you like a brief little summary about what Nagain is all about. The Nagain make great use of naturally available resources. They're also good farmers and adept hunters. Their population grows very quickly due to their skills as farmers. Their high food production also comes with a downside, lack of technology of development. Nagain make little uh, use. Oh, I lost myself here. Uh, they make little use of technology and because of this their technology develops very slowly. So every race seems to have ups and downs. Um, so here's a summary, powerful early on, fast population growth due to excellent farming skills, strong strong rams, good archers, powerful melee fighters, fast movement, poor defenses, mediocre siege weaponry, mediocre technology, and poor economy. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, play style, early aggressive play, intelligent play for later stages of the game, able to use time efficiently, raid, and plunder to make up for a bad economy. Okay, let's just start the game. Okay, so this is how it started last time too. Hi there, good to see you. My name is Wadley, the wizard, and I will guide you through the first stage of Erectus. I will give you assignments, and once you complete the assignment, I will reward you for it. To claim a reward, just click on the claim reward tab. Let's start right away with your first assignment. Take a look at your village. So I'm gonna claim my reward, which was nothing. <laughs> okay, Here's my, there's my village. All right. Well done. This is your starting village. I'll give you 100 clay and 100 wood as uh, a reward. Click on the rewards tab to claim your rewards. So claim reward, and you just click this, and I claimed it, perfect. Uh, click on your command post once there is a click on your command post and once there click the manage workers tab. Okay, so my command post is right here. Okay, and let's go to manage workers. Well done. <laughs> You're now inside the most important building in Erectus. I'll give you 50 iron as a reward. Move all the sliders as far to the right as they can go. You'll notice that your resource. Production increases as more workers are assigned to a gathering site. Don't forget to save your changes before you're closing the window. Okay, so I'm gonna claim my reward, done. I'll go back to the quest. Okay, so let's see, I have 225 citizens to work. No slackers on my, my watch. So I'm going to just kind of even it out, food here, wood here, clay here and iron here, 27. I still have 136 workers left. Should I just max all out? Maybe I should, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just max it out anyways. So, uh, oh, okay, so 50, 30, 30. Um, save changes, okay. Excellent, your citizens are now working hard and producing various resources and food. Again, already with 100 wood and clay. So generous. <laughs> now go back to the world map and observe the area surrounding your village. You can build uh, your city adjacent to your village. Pick a nice spot and build your first city. After your city is finished, take a look inside of it. Claim reward, 100 wood and clay, awesome. Okay, close. This is already saved, I believe, yeah. Okay, saving, saving, saving. Okay, close this. Okay, let's take a look outside of my world here. 
Ah, crap. No, 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 no. Okay. Back to, oh yeah, back to world map. Um, it says build a city, so I'm assuming this is a city. Okay, build your city first before building another village. This is your first city, it's for free. Yeah, let's just build it, why not? Right on. So, let's look into my capital. You now have a city, <laughs> you now have a city, your new capital, and one village. We're off to a good start. As a reward, I'll give you 200 food and 100 clay. Your city has a command post as well. Take a look inside your city's command post. Click on the Magic Workers tab and drag the site as far as you can to write it as they can go like you did in your village. So let's claim our reward, 200 food and 100 clay. Done deal. Claim this bad boy. Awesome. Close. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Where was my managed workers? I am really dumb right now. I can't see. Command post. Okay, managed workers. I guess that's all I can do right now. Okay, here we go. That was kind of weird bug right there. Um, oh crap, did I ever use them all up or what? I guess I can't mine iron here. That's weird. Okay. I can get a lot of clay, but okay. So I'll save changes here. And it's saving eventually. <laughs> I would assume it's saving. I don't know what's going on. Perfect. Good job. Now your city is producing resources as well. You probably noticed the iron cider cannot be removed. Yes, I could not notice that. This is because your city does not start out with iron mine. You'll have to build it before you can produce an iron in your city. I award you 50 iron because of how rare it is to come by. Claim your reward. Thank you so much, sir. And go to the iron miner city to upgrade it to level one. Gotcha. Save changes. I think it's already been saved. Um, so let's close. I think it's it should be saved, right? Hmm. Okay, it is saved. Let's go to my iron mine, wherever the hell it is. Oh, there it is, iron mine. <laughs> okay, so let's upgrade it to level one. So that's gonna take two minutes and 46 seconds, perfect. Okay, so my iron mine is done and I can finally start mining iron, woo! <laughs> okay, so that's done. Um, let's see, what else can I do exactly? What does he want me to do? Well done, you can now produce iron in your city as well. I'll reward you with 20 more iron, well thank you. Go to the logging site and upgrade it by one level. You'll be able to produce more wood after Afterward, go to this go to the clay pit and repeat the process. Upgraded by level one. So logging side and clay pit. Okay, I'm gonna claim this. Okay, let's see, where is the clay pit? Here's the clay pit. Upgrade to level two, which will take 36 minutes and 55 seconds. That's crazy. Nope, it will take two minutes and 46 seconds. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, upgrade that to level two. Okay. Is it gonna be upgrading? Yes, it is. Okay, and the logging site, wherever the hell that is. Hmm. Okay. Where is my logging site? Food storage, butcher. Tavern, oh, there's a university, right on. Okay. Okay. Go to the logging site and upgrade a level one, you'll be able to produce more wood. 
After where is the logging site? Hmm. Oh, it's right there. All right, so let's. Ah, uh, crap! I can't even upgrade the logging site just yet. All my workers are at the. Um, where are they? They're at my clay pit right now, which is going to be taking another. Ah, oh, just another minute. Okay, I guess it's time to to have a look and feel of everything here. So let's see here. Click here to buy your gold. Statistics, alliance. Reports. Let's go back to world map. Oh, I got a village nearby me. It's like, attack! No, not yet. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's got, he's definitely got an army, so that's kind of scary. Uh, let's see what else is around me. Let's see. Breda, troops and assembly, okay, cool. Uh, what else is around me here? Holy crap, look at this one over here, wow. Let's see, Yexel 21. Yeah, he's gonna, he's definitely gonna arm me ready, damn. Okay, let's see, okay, I cannot attack anybody just yet. Hmm. It's a very beautiful world, like, it's crazy. So my logging should be done by now, I think. I think. Okay, yep, it is done, perfect. And so is my clay pit, oh, it just changed, perfect. That's awesome, so the wizard will get me too. Awesome, 300 food for my ward, that's sick, okay. Right on. Go to log so I level one. Okay. But that's what I did exactly though. I upgraded everything. So my locking pit is upgraded to level two. Oh wait, no, it's not. Oh, do you know why it's not upgraded? It's because of the... It's because I had all my workers at the uh, clay pit. That's why, that's so dumb. Okay, okay. So about two minutes. Okay, so that, my logging is done right now. So I think I have a level two logging now, let's see. Nice. So I'm gonna claim my reward, 100 wood. Awesome. If it's gonna let me claim it, like, I don't know. I don't need your wood. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Very good, your production levels have improved. This time around, I'll reward you with 100 wood. You're going to need it. Now go to the command post. Um, now that you have upgraded your production sites, you'll be able to assign more workers to them. Increase your wood, clay, and iron production by assigning more workers to the respective gathering sites. Okay. I could have sworn I just claimed that reward. Maybe I didn't, who knows. All right, so let's go to my command post here. All right, let's just go to manage workers. Hmm. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Um, Now go to the command plus now that you've upgraded your production sites, you'll be able to assign more workers to them. Increase your wood, clay, and iron production by sending more workers to their gathering website or to their gathering sites. Okay. 
So there we go. Perfect. So now I can actually have, that, that was just a weird little bug though, you know, like I couldn't even, couldn't even use it. Anyways, I have now I've got people on my iron, I'm a clay, wood, and food. Awesome. I'm gonna save changes, and hopefully my city will be building. I didn't realize that I have a beginner's protection until September 3rd. So no one can invade me just yet. <laughs> All right. Okay, well done. Your production sites are now being used optimally. I reward you with 200 food. Upgrade your command post to level three. Tip, use the slider to take your workers off resource production sites and reassign them to upgrade it. It'll speed up the building. Second tip, while you wait for the upgrade to finish, back, go back to your village and upgrade your resource production fields. Okay, so I'm gonna claim my reward. Okay. So command post number two, save changes. Okay, so my command, so my command post need to upgrade it to level two, and from there, let's see. So that's going to take thirty-six minutes to upgrade it. All right, cool stuff. And he also said to upgrade my production fields. Right? So go back to my village. Okay, so back to a map. This is my village. And let's go to my production fields. Let's upgrade this clay pit right here to level four. That'll take three minutes. Awesome. And what else do I need to upgrade? Nope. Not the transporter, no. Okay. Iron mine, maybe. If it'll let me click it. <laughs> okay. I can't upgrade that. Logging. Can't upgrade that either, okay. Okay, so thank you so much for watching um, Erectus the Game. I'm going to be creating more episodes of this, so stay tuned. Um, I'm a, I think I got to be really careful, though, about, you know, utilizing my days right now because I think I could easily get invaded and die. <laughs> I think there's still some villages around me, too, like right there. And there, and there, and holy crap. Okay, I should really get on... <laughs> utilizing my time with my with my uh, village and my capital so anyways thank you so much for watching me play reckless the game i'm rob j thank you for entering nova and have a great day bye